What is going on guys, Nightmare here, and today I am going over the new updated characters that we have just got on the Japanese version. I am really excited about them. So let's start off with the newest, well the best one in my opinion, which is 6 plus Doflamingo. It, this is the V1 Doflamingo. He changes to Imp and he's a driven slasher unit. His captain ability is boost attack of driven characters by 3.5 HP by 1.2 and treat Psy and N orbs as beneficial. So right off the back, he is officially the second best driven captain in the game. Um, the fact that um, he can use units that aren't driven is pretty good, similar to Barto Cavendish. So if driven doesn't have the utility, then they aren't completely fucked, like they would be if you use VT Dofi as a captain. So that's really great. And his special ability is to change adjacent orbs to match in and give a 2.25 orb boost for one turn for driven characters, which is also super good. You can pair him up with Barto Cavendish or with the Invasion Big Mom. So you, in both situations, you get a 2.25 orb boost and attack boost, which is really great. Only problems with V1 Dofi Plus is that he doesn't change all orbs into match in which is kind of unfortunate well what I mean by all orbs like if you have block orbs adjacent then he doesn't change them to match in which kind of sucks but in the end he's still a super strong unit I would use him as a captain as well because his um, HP is similar to VT Dofi's and his attack boost is consistent um, 3.5 which is really strong so I highly recommend um, Plusing him, I believe since he has the little orange bar that we will be getting him via the TM after we reach um, certain point thresholds, we'll get a skull after every point. I believe for um, 6 plus cabbage, it was 1.7 million points we had to hit to get all of his skulls. So I believe that will be the case since it seems like he will be a point booster for this TM so that's really good to know. Next unit we'll be talking about is the treasure map Doflamingo and his captain ability is 2.75 attack boost for driven characters heals 500 HP at the end of the, the turn and if you use a special he becomes a 3.5 driven captain which is <laughs> Fucking stupid. I, I love this boost for Driven. Um, so basically, I just want to let you guys know before, um, his cotton candies are HP and attack since his um, heal per turn is fixed. So just for the newer players to know, it's HP attack. Anyways, his special completely removes RCV dam and incoming damage and reduces incoming damage by 80% for two turns. And if your captain is driven, change all orbs, including block, into matching. So really good special overall. And his RCV down might be beneficial to use in the current GARP challenge on stage 8. Uh, we'll just have to see since you get 99 turns of RCV down. So if you're using a Orco captain, you can always use them to remove the RCV down. Stall up your specials and then... Since it's applied in every room you go in, you can always use this special like on every stage after you stall enough and whatnot. So seems to be it sounds it'll be useful for the GARP stage eight for Warco teams and other teams since um that might rely on Eden meat orbs and whatnot. Anyways, the sailors are reduced three turns of special seal on himself, which is really good. And Gives driven characters plus 30 in HP, attack, and RCV in their stats, which is really good. And their support is 8% um, of his um, stats in HP, attack, and RCV to support characters Trouble, Pika, and Diamante. So overall, both of these Doflamingos are really great, and I highly um, recommend you to farm them. Farm the whatever point threshold we need to get for their skulls and to max up this Doflamingo. 
Also, I'll be talking about the new Usopp, who is a point booster, a 1.4 point booster, and we will be also getting him at a certain point threshold. It's not released yet at what the threshold will be, but I will make another video and talk about that when that info is leaked. So his captain is boost attack of free spirit characters by 1.5, and if your HP is low, we don't know the threshold yet, boost attack of free spirit characters by 2.75, so trash captain, you're not using him as a captain at all. And his special is cut HP of the crew by 50%, delay all enemies by one turn, remove all positive buffs on your crew, and reduce one turn of bind, despair, paralysis, and special seal. So this special is meh. Like, it could be used on a uh, um, low HP team like, um, what's his name? VT Ray, if you're at a certain, if you're at 50% and then you reduce it by 50%, um, you might get, might be easier for you to get to your 30% threshold that you need for his higher captain ability. But besides that, um, the only good thing I see about him is removing all positive buffs. So if you get a, a 1.5 or boost like preemptively, he is good for that. Otherwise, you wouldn't really see use on him. And his sailor is reduced two turns of special seal on himself. So yeah, not really a good unit, but 1.4 point boost, especially for free to play um, free to play players. Is pretty decent, and yeah, I probably wouldn't put him on my highest boosting team, but on a um, mid C team, he'll be good for that. So, thank you guys for watching. If you guys want more videos like this, I will do them, and yeah, I'll see you guys later. Bye.